forces horizontal and vertical. So, summation of forces vertical, upward, okay, so, upward forces positive, is equals to tatlong, uh, 5, so, uh, negative 5 times 3, minus, tatlo rin na, para parehas na, P, Y, okay, multiplied by 3. So, this is summation of forces vertical is equals to negative 15 minus Py, which is equals to 9.363 multiplied by 3. So, summation of forces vertical is equals to negative 43.089 kilo newton. Since it is negative, therefore, yung ating force vertical is up, uh, downward, okay? So, summation of forces horizontal to the right is positive is equals to okay, ito lang tatlong yan uh, okay, negative px negative kasi to the left multiplied by 3 so summation of forces horizontal is equals to negative 3.511 multiplied by 3 so this is equals to negative 10.533 kilo newton to the left okay so therefore, yung ating resultant is, is, is equal to square root of 43.089 squared plus 10.533 squared. Ang ating resultant is equal to 44.358 kilo newton. And this is downward to the right. So downward to the right. Next, yung location daw ng ating resultant R from the support H. Okay? So, kailangan natin mag-moment sa H. So, summation of moment at H, clockwise is positive, is equals to, okay, yung 5 natin, iikot ng counterclockwise, so negative 5 multiplied by, okay, this is 4, plus 8, okay, 8 para dito sa 5 kN na ito, no? Ay, kN na ito. And 12 para dito sa 5 kilo nyo ito na ito. Plus 12. Okay. Okay. Yung atin naman 10 kilo nyo ito na siikot ng uh, counterclockwise sa H. Di natin kailangan pang gamitin yung kanyang components para lang mag-moment sa H. Kasi sabi ko nga kanina, ang 10 kilo nyo ito na load is perpendicular to DF. And ang condition natin sa moment, as long as meron tayong uh, perpendicular distance from the load, Therefore, yun yun na yung gagamit natin na distance, okay? So, ang distance ito is uh, 4.272 and ang distance ito is 4.272. So, therefore, negative 10 multiplied by 4.272 para dito plus 2 times kasi dalawa ng 4.272. At yung ating 10 kilo nito dito is zero moment kasi magkula naman siyang perpendicular distance sa h. Therefore, ang ating moment at h is equals to negative 248.16 kilo newton meter. At yung, uh, since it is negative, therefore, it is counterclockwise. Okay? So, counterclockwise yung may create na moment dito sa ating uh, support h. Next, Okay, so MH is also equals to, sabi natin ang location ng ating resultant R from H sa dito, ito yung ating resultant R. So, uh, this is summation of forces horizontal and this is summation of forces vertical. So, ito yung hinahanap natin na distance D from H. Distance D. So, MH is equals to R multiplied by D. So, this is negative 248.16 is equals to Okay, so, ang matitira lamang dito is uh, Dito? Sa, ang sabi nga pala, yes, ang sabi nga pala is yung distance ng ating H ay ng ating resultant from H. Therefore, ang gagamitin natin, natin dito is yung summation of forces vertical. Okay? Ngayon, ang summation of force vertical natin is okay, uh, 
0.089 at ang rotation ng ating summation of vertical sa H is counter clockwise. So, tama lang na ang nakikreate ng ating overall uh, moment from the loads is counter clockwise. So, tumutok nga sa ating resultant. So, this is negative 43.089 multiplied by the distance D. Therefore, ang ating distance D is equals to 5.79 uh, 7.59 meters from support at each thing. So this is our problem number three for the resultant of non-concurrent force system. So thank you for watching. Bye-bye.